I served after high school um, March of 2000 to March of 2004. Um, I served in the Marine Corps. The United States Navy from June 1951 to June of 1955, four years, Korean War. I joined the Army in 1990, so it's been almost 25 years ago, 25 years ago this spring. Uh, I served some, uh, served a couple of years in the Army National Guard and then left the Army National Guard to uh, go in the regular Army for 20 years. Um, I finished up my career with the Army National Guard as the recruiter here in Walla Walla. I served uh, between 58 and 63 in the United States Navy. I spent my time on destroyer escorts, which was about like riding a cork. The military gives a young man the ability to see the country at their expense and not ours. And then in the Navy, I got to see a lot of different places and different things and different cultures. And it was very interesting. Well, living in Japan for two years was very exciting. You know, I got to know the culture of the Japanese people and of course uh, I had a, a Japanese girlfriend girlfriend in the old meaning of the term, just a friend. <laughs> and uh, that was very interesting. Um, and of course I saw a lot of places, uh, Hawaii, Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, various parts of Japan, off the coast of Korea. So we'd be playing a breach, it's a card game. And then when our planes would go off, we'd be up on a flight deck, checking everything, loading rockets and uh, all that. And then when we'd see him on the cat, we'd rush down, pick up our hand, our card hand, and start playing again. And this would go on for about an hour. And then we hear him coming in the landing pattern. They go whipping past the carrier on the right side, the starboard side come around on the left and go in the landing pattern. Well, we could tell by the sound of the jets whose squadron it was. In other words, it wasn't just one squadron, it was, you know, a whole slew of squadrons. So I was in 114, and uh, we'd listen, and we say, no, it's not ours. And we go back to playing cards. And then, of course, when we hear them in the, in the pattern, we say, that's ours. We slam the cards down and just rush up on a flight deck and uh, take care of the planes. Oh, we had a repelling tower that was out in our quad area. Uh, and uh, it was a 40-foot tower and it was surrounded by barracks and we would do PT in the mornings, our, our exercising, push-ups and sit-ups. Uh, we would do it out kind of in the shadow of the, the, the repelling tower. And uh, one of the things we used to like to do with the new guys when they showed up would be wake them up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and say, hey! Get out here! The light went out in the repelling tower. And they'd say, what? There's a light? Yeah, there's a light in the repelling tower. If, uh, if there's not a blinking light up there, aircraft will crash into it. We don't want helicopters running into our repelling tower. So we would send privates up there in shifts all night long with a red angle lens army flashlight. And they would have to stand up there for an hour and press the button on it and then release it. And press the button on it and release it. And if you do that for an hour, when you're done, your arm won't work anymore. You're, you're, you're phenomenal. You know, I have a thousand memories and it's hard to narrow it down to one. Um, one of the best memories um, is probably finishing um, boot camp and receiving that Eagle Glove and Anchor um, and making me part of a, um, you know, a big organization um, where I found something uh, bigger than myself, bigger than anything I had ever seen and just being a part of it. The best thing I've done my whole life was um, to become a U.S. Marine, um, to give back to a country that has given me so much, um, and just, just uh, again, giving back to, to the country and now giving back to the community. So I've been blessed and fortunate to have served in the United States Marine Corps. And you know, I hope 
with the smiles I see on your faces today. When you get out of the service, that you have the same warm feelings for your shipmates or your fellow members, whatever branch you go into, that I have today. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you and our community.